Have you ever sat down even a single day and think that is it really possible to find geolocation of any device? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you that it is really possible to find geolocation or whatever track any device in the world. And actually what you need for today's video, you need Kali Linux and it can be any type of Linux actually, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use a framework called Hound. There are different types you can use, Stonebreaker or whatever, but today we are going to use Hound. It is super easy, super simple and yeah, without further ado, let's go into the video. <laughs> Actually, when you get into your computer, this is your color machine, it can be Ubuntu, it can be anything, it can be VirtualBox or whatever. I want you to open your web browser, it can be any web browser you're using, and I want you to type in for Hound GitHub. Just type in Hound GitHub and the first, whatever, the first link to open up, it will be the one. And you might want to git clone this by either copying this one, or you can just come here to code, click on it, press copy, and then close your browser I want you to open your terminal well after your terminal is opened I want you to make this thing a little bit bigger okay one thing that you might want to do in order to do everything that's going on right here you need um to be a root user so to be a root user you can either click over here open the root terminal or in just this terminal you can write in sudo su you're asking permission to become a root user and after that you might want to put your password for the root system all right I, we can see right now this icon here has changed it is but it is red root cave now i want you to do some things okay first of all you might want to update your system so you can do apt um apt get update okay to update your system i've already updated my system it is on the current version and after that i want you to write this command apt get y install php and zip git w get this actually will install git in your system if you doesn't have git installed yet in this case i have git installed now after here you might want to change your directory to where you want to download that hound or you want to git clone that hound file with just cloned it or just copied the link into github now i want it to do on maybe downloads or something like that okay so i'll just go to downloads then right here you can write git clone okay in your computer if you haven't installed this yet actually I have installed it so you git clone then you paste the link that you just copied there on the website or something like that after that it will clone itself in your downloads directory and after that i want you to do one simple thing if you write in ls you might see hound it is right over here so that's actually great let me clear my screen a little bit so if hound is already installed I want you to change directory to hound and after you've changed directory to hound when you release the files found on hound you can find there is a lot there is cloud fair there is everything we are going to learn about cloud fair in a minute so here it is it is hound.sh we are going to run hound.sh and you need one command to run these types of files if you have if you don't know commands used you can just check my linux for hackers series we are on episode two right now we are not far away so you can just catch up it is right over here episode one click on it go check episode one linux for hackers you learn all commands you need in order to start using linux for beginners pros whatever there are some things that you don't know now actually we need one command and you're going to write in bash hound.sh when you press enter over here it will start hound let me make this a little bit bigger do you want to use cloudflare tunnel if it is your first time it will tell you do you want to install cloudflare tunnel whatever now this cloudflare tunnel what it does it acts as a host to host the link we are going to create a link that when a person clicks that link will get the ip address and the location of that device easy and super simple right now i want you to type in y okay cloud is already cloudflare is already installed in your perspective maybe it will be the first time installing cloudflare and you just install it once now it is starting on cloudflare tunnel and right now it is generating a link to be used here is the direct link that can be used now this link you can do it via phishing attack or sending via email you can send it via a text message like spoofing sms attack or anything of the kind okay you just need to know what you need okay if you don't know how to send phishing emails or spoofing sms attacks whatever 
comment down below and i'll make a video especially just in sending phishing emails and text messages whatever something like that okay now i want you to take your device i'm using a telephone or something like that i want you to take your phone right now let me share this screen so that you guys also might see okay right now i want you to go on your google or whatever for example let's say you have already sent the link right over here now let me click let me type this link very quickly guys okay as you can see right here the link is already written at the search bar when i press enter i want you to see what will happen in my computer so i'll just put the two screens at the same time or something like that now let me press enter right over here okay you can see the ip address of the target machine is already okay figured it out now in your com in your system or in your phone it will ask you to use your geolocation now let's say for instance you haven't switched on your gps or something like that it will open a chat gpt page you can see it is chat gpt4 and if you type in hi for instance and press send let's see at the response you have typed in hi as a user and admin is telling you turn on your location to find other people near you it is just programmed that way in order to make the person turn on their location or something like that user denied the geolocation permission okay i denied the geolocation permission but if you turn on your location in your device it will just appear right over here i don't want my location to leak out on the internet or something like that or this house is gonna be crowded with people anyways now if you turn on your location it will appear over here and it will appear as some codes that you, if you go on your web browser and if you click on your tab and you paste them here it will open google maps for you and it will show you exactly where that place is guys that's how it works now by just opening the link it told this device information right over here you can see there's device information user agent mozilla whatever okay there's platform linux whatever there's a lot going on here like there is ram there is cpo cpu calls the screen width of that device the screen height of that device the time when you opened it it is like a lot going on like here's just the, all of the devices location okay it is really crazy like how the information gathering report here's the information gathered and if the location was turned on for this device that i was using the location would appear right over here now guys this will be the end of the video, I think, because I've told you a lot today, okay? How to get the location of any any device in the world. It can be a smart TV, a computer, an Android, iOS, whatever you're using. It doesn't care if they are using antivirus or firewalls or anything like that. As long as they click the link and they click on allowing on the location of that device it is still done it is done and actually to get person to click that link needs creativity and that's why if you don't know the creativity needed comment down below you want me to teach you the creativity that means sending this email to the person being creative and making them tempting them to open the link it is ethical of course don't do this without permission only do this with your devices at home or pray with friends and family just make sure you know you get their device's location don't do it in random stranger it is very risky and if they get you to jail don't tell them you know who Kevdine is because i don't know you in this if you get into problem i don't know you but if you stay ethical i know you guys so try hack me try hack me okay you can hack me but i promise you if you do i'll get back to you and i'll know exactly who you are and where you're from okay without further ado guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe that little thing right over here like the video comment down below share with friends and family let's make this more fun guys catch you in the next one peace out